Hey everyone, this is Jim Baguadia from Nirmata and I'm here with Adrian Ludwin from Google. And we're gonna talk about namespaces as a service using HNC and Kiverno. So in Kubernetes, namespaces as a, are a fundamental building block for segmentation, isolation, and a number of other Kubernetes resources such as roles um, uh, or role bindings, secrets, uh, quotas, all of these also build on top of namespaces. When Kubernetes is used within an organization, um, and every organization, of course, is looking to deliver value faster to their customers, to increase efficiencies, multi-tenancy very quickly becomes important um, as a way of achieving some of these goals. So there are two common ways that multi-tenancy is typically delivered within organizations either using clusters as a service where entire clusters are created per application or per team, or using namespaces as a service uh, where a, a shared cluster is used and different teams, different apps can leverage namespaces. So each model has different uh, pros and cons. Uh, namespaces as a service is slightly less flexible uh, because you, know, you cannot have cluster-wide resources per tenant but there's a lot of value in utilizing namespaces as a service for agility, for increased efficiencies. So today what we're gonna see is how HNC or a hierarchical namespace controller and Kiverno work together to deliver namespaces as a service for organizations. So I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, HNC itself. Uh, so uh, as the name implies, what we're doing is we're taking existing Kubernetes namespaces and making them hierarchical. Now, why would you wanna do this? Uh, namespaces, as Jim said, are fundamental to a lot of different areas, but they are also cluster level resources and by default are completely independent from each other. This does not make them very useful uh, within any kind of level of tenancy uh, because you need cluster level permissions to modify them and it's hard to apply policies across um, across a set of namespaces. So with hierarchical namespaces, you can arrange them into a hierarchy uh, with an arbitrary depth, and you can modify that, uh, that hierarchy over time with enough permissions. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to propagate policies from parents to children, and also it uh, lets you do some neat things with applying policies such as network policy across a group of related namespaces as well. Uh, and there's a bunch of other um, uh, talks online that you can find about this. Another thing it lets you do is self-service namespace creation. So typically you need cluster level permissions to create a namespace, but with HNC you can create a small object called an anchor in the parent, which we'll demonstrate later, and HNC will create the sub namespace for you and then automatically propagate all of the configured policies as well. So why would you use this? Well, it's great for really fine-grained namespaces. If you just gave every tenant one namespace and said, well, okay, here's your playground, you can do everything in there, that can work, but it doesn't allow you to differentiate between uh, different security policies that might be applied to different workloads that are run by that one tenant. Um, and so with HNC, you can write composable multi-namespace policies where you need, and also apply workload-specific policies where those are required as well. And also it's useful um, for self-service namespaces anytime where you wouldn't want to file a ticket for a cluster level operation. This can be very useful in dev clusters or in clusters that you use for things like batch operations. Now, um, agency on its own can't really provide namespaces as a service because if you create a new top level namespace, it's completely empty, there's nothing in there. Um, and when you create a name, a sub namespace, it only propagates objects from the parent. So for example, you can't put a quota in a child that wasn't defined in a parent. Um, but with Caverno, you can use the, its generation and mutation um, capabilities, which can execute actions when you create a new namespace or sub namespace. And the two of these together uh, can give you a, a, a big piece of the namespace as a service picture. So very briefly, Kiverno is a policy engine designed for Kubernetes, where policies are just modeled as Kubernetes resources itself. There's no new language to learn, so you can use familiar YAML syntax, um, uh, very similar to customizes overlay patterns, which you can use to define your policies itself. And with Kiverno policies, you can validate configurations, you can also mutate existing configurations and generate new resources as required based on different uh, triggers. 
So what we'll take a quick look at in a demo is Kiverno managing the top level namespaces and then HNC working uh, to create the sub namespaces and propagating resources within that hierarchy itself. So let me switch to my console. And what I have here um, is HNC and kubeconfig and, and Kiverno are already installed. And if I look at the HNC setup, um, I'm going to use the HNS command line plugin and describe the configuration. I already have it set up to propagate different resources like network policies, role bindings, and roles. So the first thing I'm going to do, and just to further you know, kind of explain the setup I have, I've created a couple of custom roles. These roles can only create namespaces, and they can only operate based on Kiverno policies. They'll get fine-grained permissions to only um, uh, operate on their particular namespaces itself. So I'll go, go ahead and create, try to create a namespace called test as a user, uh, one of the namespace admin users, Nancy. And Kiverno is going to block that and say that I, it, the namespace needs to have a label which designates what kind of resource quota it requires. So to go ahead and create this, I'm going to now use a YAML I already have with the necessary label. And in fact, um, what I should do is I'm going to create this as the as the right user. So uh, I'll delete that namespace, which I created as an admin. And we'll go ahead and create it again as the user, Nancy. So let's try that again. OK, so now that the namespace is created as a user, if we go ahead and describe the namespace, what we should see um, is that the uh, properties for that namespace, so we created test. Uh, so it already has the resource quotas. It has you know, other, uh, like the limit range configured. And it should also have, if we do um, a get you know, for the net network policy, on that namespace as that user, we should see that we're allowed to see the, there's a default deny network policy and the uh, as that user, we have visibility into it. Now, just as a quick test, if I try this as the other user, I'm not allowed access to it. So now let's go ahead and create a sub namespace using HNC. Um, so I'll use the HNS plugin. And here I'm going to, for that uh, you know, user, I'm going to create another namespace called test2 under uh, test. And we'll also do this as the namespace admin user, Nancy. And so this creates the name, uh, the sub namespace. And just to see how that's set up, if we look at that as Nancy, we should be able to see the tree. And we should also, again, just to verify if we try it as the other user, we're not able to see that. And if I do a describe on this, um, on test two, which is the other namespace, I also see that the right resources are propagated. So this is just a really quick demo, which shows how the two tools, again, can work together uh, to solve some of the main problems for namespaces as a service. So just to summarize, multi-tenancy is essential for most organizations for Kubernetes success. And namespaces as a service is a handy way of providing multi-tenancy for a large segment of applications. Um, and HNC and Kiverno can work together to automate uh, some of the key concerns for namespaces as a service. So please reach out if you have more questions. We are on the multi-tenancy Slack channel uh, in, on the Kubernetes Slack. And I also have some, we have links here for the repos uh, for HNC as well as Kiverno. And if you want Thank to you. learn more about uh, HNC, you can go check out some past talks that uh, we've given at uh, KubeCon over the past year or so. Thanks a lot.